Hello and welcome back to another short news video for Final Fantasy XIV and in fact for the Neo game, in fact, for Neo 2. So why is this specifically about those games? Well, you might have seen or you might have completely missed this, which is the whole reason I'm making this video, behind the idea that recently there was a contest for character creation templates for the upcoming Neo 2. Now, if you've played Neo 1, it is essentially... I mean, dare I say it, a Dark Souls-like sort of game set in sort of medieval Japan. And uh, yeah, so essentially on that basis, there's all kinds of evil monsters, sort of yokai creatures to fight. And Neo 2 is supposed to be more of that uh, with a whole new storyline. But a character creation in that game was never really a thing. But it seems that for Neo 2, that is very much the focus this time around with special focus on the ability to actually create a female character as well. So no, you won't have to play purely as males, which I'm sure will get a lot of fashion hunters interested in this one. So Neo 2 is in full development currently, and the developers for this posted via social media that the results of the character creation contest to basically have uh, these character entrants as a preset on their template well, essentially, you might recognize a few of these characters here. One specifically from Dragon Age, if you know who I mean. And also we have, ooh, what's this person here? Third from the top. That is no other than Naoki Yoshida, producer and director of Final Fantasy XIV. So why is Yoshida here? Well, essentially someone who submitted this entry decided to make Yoshida. Now, if you bear in mind that this character creation tool is this good, then uh, then I'm, I'm very interested in this game from the standoff. Now, apparently the developers did actually contact uh, Final Fantasy XIV and Yoshi P directly to see if they could use his likeness, considering it was one of the entries they wanted to go through. Yoshi P said it's fine with him, and Square Enix agreed to it. So essentially, Yoshi P will be one of the templates that you can choose from when you go to create your custom character in the upcoming new game. How incredible is that? I mean, this is a bit of an unofficial official crossover if you think about it, but Yoshi P has been more susceptible to the idea that people like him and want to see him in the game. He was a little bit sort of ginger about celebration events for Final Fantasy XIV, the anniversary events where they introduced him basically as the wandering minstrel. And then one of the recent anniversary events, he appears in a questline as Yoshi P, which was really mind blowing really to, to see that. And he thanks the player for their invested time in the game. But uh, obviously people are very interested in seeing his likeness in other places because he's quite a popular sort of guy to get behind. And to some people, He's seen as much more than just a producer and director, but the saviour of Final Fantasy XIV in the first place. Whether you believe that or not, that's up to you. But he did do a hell of a lot for this game, and that cannot be denied. But regardless, Neo 2, so if you're into your third-person action-adventure slashy Dark Souls-esque difficult games, then you can play as Yoshi P. And uh, just looking at this character creation ball before we end this video, how good is some of this creation? The, the varieties of templates there are so far apart. So if you can use the tool to create someone, you know, basically the likeness of a real person like Yoshi P, who isn't the, the most simple of faces to recreate, um, then I, I am very much excited just for the character creation of this game. I enjoyed the first Neo. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. Hopefully the second one lives up to my own personal hopes and dreams for that sort of Dark Souls type game. Either way, thank you kindly for watching. I did think this was worth making a video in case some people managed to miss this under the radar. I know a lot of you already have, but let me know what you think about this and uh, whether you'd like to see Yoshi P and his likeness in lots of other games as well, because I'm sure this is going to be a trend of things to come. Thank you kindly for watching and I'll see you all next time.